The only limitations are those you set up in your own mind. There is no such thing as impossible. If you can believe it, then you can achieve it. Limitations? There are no such thing as limitations. The only thing holding you back is yourself. Your own views of what is and what is not possible. It's easy to get deflated when others don't believe in you. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before I get into the focus of this video, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up. Remember in a few videos back, I mentioned fitnessdealnews.com, website that kind of brings all fitness stuff together, gives you the best deals on all kinds of products, supplements, everything. Got an email today. I know today is Sunday. I'm recording this. You guys are watching this on Monday. So hopefully the deal will still be up. But on Fitness Deal News, for $13.99, you can get a whole box of Quest Bars for free shipping, so make sure you go check that out. I got myself a box, make sure you get yourself a box, because for 14 bucks and free shipping for box quest bars, that's pretty good. Now for the reason for this video, what Monday's videos are going to be, is gonna be a recap of the week of the beach prep. So right now this is episode number seven. I've been doing this cut for seven days. I just wanna go over pretty briefly what happened, any changes I'm making, reasons for those changes, you know, just a summary of the week. So I keep everything in this planner very cheap. I got this at the dollar store. So I'm gonna show you guys on the screen, but this is just basically the gist of it. It's a monthly calendar. I write everything down from the cardio, from my weight, from my macros, everything for every single day. And then at the end of the week, I take the averages of all that just to see where I'm going. So just a quick brief of about how it went weight-wise. So I started it at 157.8 pounds and ended the week at 157 pounds. So 0.8 pounds lost in a week. You're probably saying that doesn't really make sense. Go change that. That battery, battery was not good anymore. So I really didn't get to change the battery until basically today and I still weighed in at 157 pounds. Is that my true weight? Maybe, maybe not, who knows, it's just one week. So I'm not totally worried about the numbers, I just wanna see some progress and it's the first week anyway. Monday I weighed in at 157.8 and actually came in the next two days at 158 pounds exactly. From Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, weighed in at 157.0 pounds even. Also, but hopefully with the new scale battery and everything, we'll see if that is consistent or not, but not too worried about that. Cardio was three sessions at 200 calories each, and I was completing that in 20 minutes or under. Now I found out that the last cardio session I did, the next thing I knew I was, I was watching videos of YouTube on my phone, I looked up and I was at about to hit 17 minutes, and already about 190 calories into the session. So that was pretty easy for me. And what I'm either going to do is add in an extra cardio session. So I'll go from three to four, still at 200 calories. Or I'm going to just add in 50 calories to those three sessions. So it'll be three sessions at 250 calories. Not sure if I wanna to go to four or keep it at three. Reason for that is one, I don't want to change the time because whether you're doing cardio, you're walking in the park, whether you're doing it on a treadmill, you're in a stair climb, or you're doing the bike. The calories that are on the machine, or your Fitbit, whatever you're tracking on, is not going to be 100% accurate. It's gonna get you in a range, but it's not gonna be accurate. Yes, you can put it if you're male or female and your weight, but it's still not going to be accurate but it's an indication of how hard you're working for the minutes that you're on that machine or just walking or running, whatever you're doing. So if you are constantly on the stair master and it says you've reached 200 calories, you've worked hard enough for the machine to say you've earned 200 calories. Same thing for a treadmill. You've worked however long it was on the treadmill to get 200 calories burned. So if you keep that consistent, that's gonna be okay. Don't try to change the minutes or whatever. You know, maybe you add minutes, but you're gonna do it to get to a certain calorie range. So if I did three sessions and I wanted to reach 250 calories, whatever time that was, but I'm still reaching 250 calories, you wanna keep that consistent. 
I know that might be all over the place, but I hope that does make sense. You just want to try to keep everything as consistent as possible because that's what the body does like. What I'm thinking right now is I'll go to four sessions of cardio, keep it at 200 calories, but adding in that extra one just because I can work that into my schedule a little bit better rather than staying in the gym longer three days a week. So for calorie wise, my average for the seven days was 1,943 calories, protein coming in at 164.1 grams, carbs coming in at 239, and fat was 42.2 uh, grams for my averages for the week. Now that's pretty low. I have cut twice before this, my second cut being my best cut. I was able to bulk before that around 350 grams of carbs, which is very good. And now this one, I'm averaging at 240 calories on my cut. So it's a pretty big difference. Now the only problem with this cut is I didn't have a maintenance calories to go off of before this because I was intuitively eating. I had the intolerance that I learned about so my body was acting very strange and it still kind of is but I'll get that later so I don't have anything to kind of go off of I'm just going off of the numbers on the scale and what my body is reacting to and I've noticed already that my body isn't taking in nutrients like it used to so everything is pretty low right now for week number two of this I'm probably going to keep things about the same I'm may make a few minor adjustments and I will tell you guys that as I go along. But what I want to get into from if you're going from maintenance to cutting. So let's take 2,000 calories is your maintenance. Maintenance being if you're taking 2,000 calories in every single day, your weight will not increase, it will not decrease. Maintenance. You're staying at one weight based off of those calories. If you want to cut and you still want to eat 2,000 calories, that is fine. You can do that. But the way you can make that work and still lose weight is if you did cardio. So say you took what I'm doing, you're doing 200 calories a session in your cardio. So one day you eat 2,000 car 2, calories, but you're burning 200 calories. That brings you down to 1,800 calories, which is below your maintenance, which means you should lose weight. So you can still eat what you want, but you make it work because you bump up the cardio which will bring your calories down. Vice versa, if you want to bulk, 2,000 calories, you don't do cardio, but you can eat more. So it just kind of how the system works. It takes a lot of tracking and getting to know your body, what works, what doesn't work, what you like, what you don't like. It takes time, but it's worth it when you do find this out. Yes, this cut is a little bit harder for me because I don't have maintenance calories that I'm going off of. I'm kind of just jumping into this and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So the first week, no, I did not see the progress that I had thought of, but I kind of figured this may have may happen because I'm just jumping into it and that is fine. It might take me till this week, week three, week four, maybe to really figure out what is going to work for this cut, which is totally fine. I don't have a deadline for this. It just kind of go as I need. So that is the plan. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Hopefully it makes sense. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave that down below. Thank you for watching. That's all I've got for today. No workout footage, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Thank you all once again, and as always, have a great week.